There's a save the date. So I've sent to my host a save the date graphic. I'm doing fast and fresh weeknight meals. And in the party setup. There's a save the date graphic. Right here. So I send this to her a week before. Um, the, the party starts, tell her to start sending this out to her guests to get the people there. And again, I'm making that contact with her. Tell her to send it out to the guests to save the date. Then there's another one. It says you're invited. So a few days beforehand, you're sending this one. I'm sending this one. You're invited. And it's telling them exactly what's going to happen. The party's going to be starting on Monday or Sunday or whatever day you start your party. Before you add the host as a co-host, make a phone call to her and ask her, all right, how many people you got coming? How many people, how many confirmed guests do you have? So if she only has five, that's not gonna make a good party, just like she said. Okay, let's triple that, right? Because we want that those numbers up. So then you add her as the co-host and she can send those invitations out for the event. <laughs> can I ask you a really quick question, sure, sure. Jen? Are you modifying those and putting the date right on the picture? I am not. Okay. Because so it's Pampered Chef in the training asked us not to modify the graphics. They said really? if you mind, I don't know, but they said don't worry about modifying the graphics. I know that's a fear a lot of people have of all these consultants using the same graphics. If you change the words in the post, they're telling us that that's fine. Because again, this is a guide for you all. It's an outline. They're in the training. If you've taken the training, it's telling them, make it your, it's telling you, make it your own. I just meant so, like, because if you're sending that by text, is that right? They're sending it by text? I'm sending this in Facebook Messenger. Oh, okay. But I was just like, that's would you put the date on there? Like I mean, right on the picture. Oh, yeah, that's all I good. meant was like, I didn't mean to modify like. Yeah, oh, I got you good. I, mean, I just I meant like, could you put the date on, like how well, I mean, otherwise. They could otherwise, see Well, they could see it all in one. Like gotcha. it's not yeah. rolled under yeah, yeah, or. Yeah, so okay, I was just wondering. You're invited, mm -hmm. put the date yeah. and time. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh, um, I was just wondering. They're in the training, they're also telling you to send a video message to your host. So you're gonna have to get up. I had to get over my fear of that whole going live in the video thing, and you know, I sound terrible on it. You know, I, it, when we had answer machines, I sounded like dee, 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 on an answer machine. So yeah, um, I hate that. And my daughter tells me because my daughter's my videographer, and she goes like this. That means I'm getting into that yin yang voice. I'm like ooh. ooh. <laughs> So send a welcome video to your host through Messenger. Make it short and sweet. It shows your host that you are invested in them and that you rely on them as their partner, that y'all are definitely partnering together. And in here, in the virtual party, the consultant's guide. And I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to pull it up because they flash me for time. But in the consultant's guide to the training, there are your instructions and it tells you how to make the video. But having that constant contact, and it's, again, I know it's virtual, and everybody wants to revert back to text messaging and Facebook Messenger, and it's all techy, and I get it. I love it, too. But you still have to make it personal. You still have to make those phone calls, and you still want them to know that you are a live person behind the computer making those posts. Even if you use SendShare or Post My Party or something like that, you have to make it real. You have to make it authentic. Right. Um, so then, with your host, you want to tell her in your in the three easy steps that they say for your video. You welcome video. Say hello. Let her know what um, to do and what to expect, and then sign off. Bam. Easy peasy. And that's something that you can do. You can either do it as a recording, but I would recommend going and doing it as a personalizing it more. Hi, Katie. This is Shannon. Just wanted to touch base with you. Send her the how to record a Facebook welcome video. There's instructions for your host on how to make her own video to post on the party kickoff day. You want to continuously coach throughout the party. And on, this will be the last thing I'm going to show y'all. Coaching before, host coaching before the party is so very important, but on a virtual party, it's even more important to keep it going. Mm -hmm. 
so hang on. There's a whole library of host posts that you can send to her. So this is the instructions on how to make the welcome video. Um, this is a host post library. Just kind of tells you a quick look at what's what they have in here. So these are different graphics that you can send to your host. Send one a day to your host and have your host post in her party at least once a day. It makes her be a real person too. It makes you, her guests see that she's participating, she's having a good time. If she's having a good time, just like at a real party, the guests are gonna have a good time. So I think that's about it. Uh, oh, most importantly, the role of the host is to be excited to be active in the party yes. and to follow up. Ask them to check in with friends um, that they thought were, going, were interested but didn't place an order. Again, just like in a live party, people say they're gonna come and stuff happens. They can't make it to the party. You wanna follow up with those guests that weren't able to make it or weren't participating and see if they'd like to place an order and because you can still collect those outside orders even though it's virtual. All right? All right. <laughs> Uh, she, she's going to give away, she's going to do two drawings while Kimberly comes up here. Okay. Do what? Oh. Wait, you want to come up here? Come on. Uh, These are the individual ones that were that we passed down. One eight seven. Eight one.